Hi, <laughs> this is Robin Bremer, and today I want to share with you some really powerful revelation that God has given me in the last, actually today, today while I was taking communion, I got this really um, awesome revelation, and I want to share it with you, and it seems as though God uh, kind of ministers to me in a in a really unique way, he, um, we get on a subject, we, we get on a subject, God gets me on a subject, and I can't do anything without being involved in that subject, so today and lately, he's changed me from, I used to be studying the, uh, um, the armor of God, for years he had me studying the armor of God and teaching on it, and now it's getting on angels the blood of Jesus in communion and going to the courts of heaven. So this morning, I'm really excited, this morning while I was taking communion, and I absolutely love communion, God gave me another revelation that I think is really exciting and that I think that you'll get excited about it if I can articulate it in a way that you can understand. Have you guys ever put something on Facebook, a revelation that God gave you and you got really excited about it and you tried to share it? And then when you went to share it, you looked at it and you go, mm, I don't think people will get it. It'll make me look bad or it'll make me look stupid or make God look something. And so you just deleted it because you couldn't find the words to explain the awesomeness of the revelation that God was telling you. Because when he says something, he says it like one or two words. And when you go to say it, it, it takes three paragraphs to say the exact same thing because he just drops his nugget of revelation in your brain. So anyway... I got this revelation today, more about communion, more about the DNA, more about the blood of Jesus and what it does for you. And I'm really excited to share it with you, I guess you can tell. Um, so I took some notes here and I did some studying too because I wanted to give more understanding. <clears throat> I forgot my water. Mm. Okay, and hopefully, prayerfully, my dogs will not bark while I'm doing this. It's too cold. My car does not have heating. Angels, go get heater and make my car work in Jesus' name. Okay, so, in Luke twenty-two nineteen through 20, and in other places, Jesus takes communion. And he tells them to do this in remembrance of me. Now, here's where the big thing came in. The key word God's highlighted to me is the word remembrance. Okay, so hold that thought, and I'm going to come back to that. Okay, so what is it about the blood and the body and when you take communion, I take it with water, I take it with bread, I take it with crackers, I take it with anything. I take it one to three times a day, depending on what's happening in my life. Uh, I, I, I just really got revelation on it, so I don't like skipping it. It's so powerful. It's like taking vitamins and minerals and nutrition from heaven. Okay, so what is it about the blood and the, and, and the body of Jesus? Okay, first of all, the life is in the blood. Okay, Do, uh, that's Leviticus 17, 11. The life is in the blood. And then in Genesis 4, 10, God says to um, Adam and Eve's son, Cain and Abel, why did you do this? Your brother's blood cries out from the ground. So blood speaks. So that is really, really cool to know. Blood speaks. Did you know that everything that has happened in a house that the the walls um, remember because it, it is um, everything's a vibration words that we speak are vibrations and everything that was ever spoken out loud is floating around in the atmosphere it doesn't disappear it just um, it just is floating around there like all the radio signals and the satellite signals and TV signals are out there you just have to have a receiver to catch it so the same thing is in our world our words and stuff that happens um, is out there. Uh, it's there. And so, you, anyway, I don't know what the point was, what I was saying. Oh, blood speaks. Okay, so anyway, so blood speaks. So just so that you know that blood speaks. Okay, now, what is inside the blood? Inside the blood is the DNA. Okay, the DNA carries the history of the parents okay so 
it also will determine what you're pre positioned for pre I don't know what that word is I'm, I'm a hick from the sticks so I don't enunciate and speak properly so forgive me but um, uh, good morning everybody um, but your the DNA says okay your mother had this sickness so you're uh, not predetermined but pre you're you're geared toward the possibility of getting that sickness it's in your genes okay so the DNA carries all possibilities of sicknesses and diseases and histories, eye color, um, body shape, uh, how well uh, vitamins take to your body, how easy it is to lose weight. All of that is in the DNA, okay? So this gets really, really good. Bear with me as I try to break this down and explain this. So that is what is in the blood carries the DNA okay now inside the what does inside the DNA and the blood inside our body it, it is cells it's made up of cells okay so blood feeds our cells our body needs our body is created out of cells and the cells need blood the blood is food for cells okay they need to survive they need blood to survive the cells need blood to grow, to repair, to fulfill their mission, and to have energy. Okay. Now here is another exciting thing that the cells do because of the blood. Or actually this is what blood does. This is a job of blood. Blood is to feed the cells to do those jobs. But the blood also removes waste. Now that's very important. I'll get to that in a second. Okay. So I want to take you now with all those thoughts in mind. One of my favorite, favorite scriptures for life and living has always been Isaiah 53, 4, and 5. And so God told me, this is my little confession booklet, my prayer booklet that I use and changes constantly and becomes books eventually. Okay, this is my prayer book. And God told me to take Isaiah 53, 4 through 5, and take all the key words and look them up in the original language. For example, it says, surely he bore our griefs. Well, what are griefs? We don't know what that is today. So he said, look up griefs. And this is what griefs means in the Strong's Concordance, going back to the original meaning of the word. Sicknesses, diseases, afflictions, sadness, evil, and calamity. Okay, that's what Jesus bore for us. Now, this is where it gets really cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just get so excited about my revelations. My face is turning red. <laughs> um, okay, so Jesus took all of our sicknesses, diseases, affliction, sadness, evil, and calamity. Okay, now remember, the blood's job is to take away the waste. Okay, all the way down to the, I didn't tell you, but I have other notes here about all the way down to the cellular level. Um, our cells retain our history because it gets passed in our DNA. So our cells have a memory of trauma, surgery, fears, experiences, phobias, and everything negative. Um, I'm sure they have the positive too, but the negative and so you want your cells to be wiped clean of these negative memories and emotions which cause sicknesses and diseases in your body. In other words, Jesus carried our sadness. Jesus carried our sadness. So when you take communion, the symbol of the body and the blood which has the DNA in it, you are taking inside of you and the DNA of God is going inside of you and producing a harvest, a remembrance, a record of everything that the blood of Jesus did for you, you are taking internally and it will produce the harvest on the outside. In other words, it's like you're a um, MP3 player, okay? And you're taking this MP3, uh, MP3 music video that says, by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed. Go to all the body parts and heal everything. Um, and that's like your DNA. So you're taking the, the blood of Jesus, the DNA of Jesus, and everything, the history of everything he did is recorded on that MP3 or MP4, is recorded. 
and then you're taking it inside your body and it produces the harvest of everything it is in other words by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed so when you take communion the body and the blood has a record of that beating and of that healing that he took for you so you are producing as you take the blood and the body of Jesus you are it's just a symbol but you are um, in remembrance it has the body and the blood has a remembrance of Jesus taking the stripes on the cross so your body says aha Jesus look here's the record it says right here that Jesus was beat on the cross so that I could be healed so body be healed so it sends out those signals be healed so remembrance is the key so when you take um, communion the body and the blood do this in remembrance of me he's not just saying oh Please remember me, buddies, my friends. I love you so much. He's not saying that. He's saying, look it. Here is a record, a DVD, an MP3, um, a download of everything that my body and blood went through for you. Take it. Eat it. Get it inside of you. And it will produce the harvest that I paid for you to have. So, so we're when we take by the blood and the body of Jesus we're not doing it like oh I'm religious I'm taking communion it's not that it's like we're taking vitamins and minerals you know I'm taking vitamin C this vitamin C says when it gets inside your body it's going to uh, build up your immune system and make you stronger that's what vitamin C does so what we're doing when we take communion it's like taking um, it's like taking heaven's record of everything Jesus did for you all the vitamins and nutrition and minerals from heaven the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead okay when you think of that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead his flesh was ripped apart ripped up his guts were hanging out his bones were broken his eyes were hanging you know his brain whatever just like somebody got hit with a car and they're smeared all over the road Jesus body was like that it was in pieces so there's no more there's no worse of sickness death or disease that you could have in your body that the same spirit of the body and the blood the nutrition of Jesus of what he did inside of you cannot fix because you are taking the vitamins the minerals and the harvest of what the blood and the body of Jesus did for you when you take communion so it's it's not oh a religious um, thing it's taking your vitamins your minerals it's taking your medicine prescribed by the doctor Jesus um, but you're taking your vitamins minerals and nutrition inside of your body for example if you have diabetes you have to take medicine to, to keep it regulated so when you take the body and the blood of Jesus it's like taking your diabetes medicine because the record the history of what the blood of Jesus did the harvest of what he did is inside of you now I'm not saying don't take not take your medicine follow the doctor's orders but whatever you're on and whatever you're doing do communion too because the blood of Jesus speaks and it goes down to your cellular level so when you take communion everything that your body needs find it in the scripture find it under the curse that you're redeemed from and speak it confess it um and and here that was just um okay if you go on to Isaiah 53 and go down it says but he was wounded for our transgressions for our sin rebellion our guilt punishment our transgression offerings but he was bruised for our iniquities okay it goes over what iniquities is it's our guilt condition our consequences or punishment of sin and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes were healed so we have peace you can have peace and what is peace what does the Bible describe as peace this is so cool um, it says peace is completeness safety soundness in body uh, let's see completely safety soundness and body yes so those are what is in the communion elements the symbol of his body and his blood the DNA that of everything God is overshadowed Mary and was deposited into Jesus 
we have is divine nature. That doesn't mean we're goody, goody, we can do, we, you know, we're a good person, we do good things, we have the fruits of the Spirit. It's more than that. It means that we can heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, cleanse the leopards. We can transform matter just like Jesus did. Walk through walls. We can be in two places at one time. But you got to grow up in these things. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to have a relationship with God. It's about a relationship. And then your behavior changes. So I'm not even going in that direction. But I got sidetracked. I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so you have these communion elements in you. You take communion, you remember and bring to memory everything, the DNA of God that overshadowed Jesus. Now the DNA of Jesus, which has the DNA of God, is in you. And you have abundant life. You have supernatural life. So taking communion and understanding what communion is all about is how to get healed. Now when people take communion and they don't understand the, the power of communion, they just take it as, oh, I'm taking communion, you know, this is the Catholic thing to do or the right thing to do or whatever, it gives me points or something. Then they end up dying of their sickness because, not because God's punishing them, not because God's correcting them, but because they haven't taken their medicine. The Word of God is your medicine. So what I'm saying is they continue on the same journey. They're taking communion out of ritualistic instead of taking it like medicine, like vitamins and minerals. And when they don't realize that communion is like vitamins, minerals, nutrition, and, and health to their body, then they keep on going on the same route. If they have cancer, they keep on dying of cancer because they haven't accessed what's available to them. They haven't accessed um, what the blood and the body of Jesus did for them. They're just ritualistically taking communion. And I don't want you guys to ritualistically take communion because it is very powerful and life-changing so I think that is basically what I wanted to share with you and oh the other thing is um, cells take get rid of waste so when you pray and take communion you want to uh, say for example um, uh, any surgery that you had done any trauma traumatic experience any addictions you want to say father God to me that is waste as I take communion I'm expecting your communion I engage I engage the body and the blood of Jesus and I expect uh, the blood and the body of Jesus to take away the waste out of my life, to clean my cellu cells all the way down to the cellular level. Um, I'm, and the blood of Jesus um, take, gets rid of all trauma memory, all addiction memory. It cleanses my genetic uh, code, my history. My DNA becomes God's DNA and I engage that, I receive that, I take that, I own that, that's mine. So you want to uh, you want to take what the blood of Jesus did, but you also want it to take away the blood, to take away the waste. Okay, I was out for a moment. It wasn't connecting. It froze. But anyway, I am done. Um, I want you to check out my newest books, um, um, Seeing Angels in the Sky. So check out my new book, Seeing Angels in the Sky, um, for kids. And adults, it teaches you um, how to, not to be bullied, uh, it, how to confess, how to decree, how to send your hosts out so that you're not bullied. If you need school clothing for kids, um, speaking in other languages, how to pray and take authority. And that is for uh, children. It says for kids, but it's for adults too. And it's a good way to get your kids and teach your kids how to walk in the supernatural power of God and have that supernatural relationship how to have a, um, you know, understand angels and not to lose their imagination because your imagination is the connection to the spirit realm. So, um, read, get, get that book, put a good review on there for me. Um, uh, so that's seeing angels in the sky for adults and kids. It, if your kids are not saved, it's an awesome way to get them saved. Um, and my other books, one and two, seeing angels in the sky and the cloud. The first one is about Kat Kerr questions that you, uh, that I have asked her in an interview I had with her. Uh, and also some basic stuff on how to send your host out. Book two of Seeing Angels in the Sky is um, more scriptures. It's, it's, it's very foundational and very good. Um, and it has decrees in it and so on. And then book three, which I'm working on right now, has specific decrees. Mm -hmm. Like if your kids are in prison, um, how to speak to send the host of heaven to uh, keep them protected. Um, what to pray for them, what to speak for them, um, uh, finances, health, and so on, how to receive healing. And so the third book is going to be more on decrees on that. 
And then the fourth and fifth book, I don't know how many God's going to have me do, is one of them is going to be on the courts of heaven, how to go to heaven and take the devil to heaven and the accuser to heaven and win the case in the courts of heaven. And the other one, I believe, is probably going to be about communion because um, God's really dealing with me strong on the power of communion. So get my books. Go to my website, robinbremer.net. Share this video if you like it, if it's been helpful to you. I'm hoping to take this and my other videos on DNA and the blood and the body of Jesus and put them in one of the books. I already have a book out there on communion, but it's not really good. It's kind of boring. It's just basically what a covenant is. It doesn't go into this awesome detail that God's talking to me today about. Um, anyway, robinbremer.net is my website. I love you all. Share. Um, reply. It's hard to reply sometimes after they get shared 35 times. So if I don't reply to you, I'm sorry. Just go right to my Facebook page and, and ask me the questions that you want to ask me. And I'm getting close to 4,000 people right now. So I only have, a, I get about 100 requests a day for friends. Um, so if I check out your website and you don't have anything to do with Jesus, you just want more friends, I won't, I won't friend request you, but um, I won't, you know, take you as a friend. But anyway, I only have like a thousand and a little more than a thousand friend requests left so they're valuable um so you probably will have to follow me on my facebook uh page which i believe is called robin bremer uh author coach or something like that just go to my facebook profile and you'll see my page and i'll begin to post all this stuff on my page so you can see and interact on that page too so love y'all i hope this was a blessing i hope it helps i'll go back over some of your questions um, and try to respond to your questions. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.